You should never have to say this. Stop, Stop peeing! peeing! Stop peeing! probably tell it's dark 30 and we have just pulled into the campground here at Brantley State Park. Beautiful park, desert, kind of a, a vibe obviously and this is something I'm totally not used to having been from Texas all my life and uh, living in Houston for the last 20 years. But a uh, beautiful park and they've got a no reservation side and a reservation side to the camping and we pulled into the uh, to the no reservation side because we were told there was some space available and we were wrong. So we pulled through the reservation side to see if there were some spaces that had not been reserved and there were none. And we're about to go boondock again out on the dock, uh, out, out on the lake basically is where we're going to be. And so we're going to go boondock on the lake, which is good and bad. It's good because it'll be kind of fun out there. It's bad because our uh, the inverter, the power inverter is not working, so our refrigerator doesn't work unless we have power. So. Not sure what we're going to do as far as the generator and, and trying to keep the power to the refrigerator. So we're going to end up camping right next to these beauties. Pretty stoked. What do you think? Huh? How do you feel about that? Pretty good? So here we are. We are at Brantley Lake State Park. Beautiful park in the desert. It's very dry and very dirt filled. And we 
um, I don't know if we just are just having some RV, RV newbie mistakes or what. Um, we woke up to a beautiful view. I don't know if you can see the view behind us, um, but there's a, um, it looks kind of like a, a desert tree behind me, but there's a beautiful lake right just beyond those trees. Um, it's a, it's a beautiful area here. No. So it started out this trip with, um, we didn't have some set in stone, um, reservations in the New Mexico area because um, two of the places that we wanted to stay were first come first serve and um, so it was a little bit of a race against time um, but we had called um, one of the places and they said that they had some space. The time changes a little bit threw us off because um, we were moving from Texas to New Mexico, so you know the time was changing, and we were gaining an hour. We kept asking ourselves, "What time is it? What time is it? What time <laughs> so is it?" So by the we're time going? we got to New Mexico, um, and the area where we wanted to stay, it was about five o'clock, and um, the sun was already actually starting to go down. And um, six o'clock. So we decided to. We got to um, Brantley Lake State Park, and um, again, beautiful area, and. Um, we drove through the RV spots and there was nothing. Now we said that it was first come first serve, but they do have a reservation area, but there are other areas first come first serve. Now, again, this is probably RV newbie stuff. <clears throat> like totally. Those of you who've done this for a while, you're probably like, mm, yep, mistake number one, number two, number three, number four, because yeah. wait till you hear what else. It gets better. So we were planning on, we were going, we had just finished, um, boondocking so um but we were coming to a place where we had full hookups because now it was starting to get late and we hadn't eaten supper and um the boys had been in the car a long time and it's just really a bad combination <laughs> when you have boys that <clears throat> haven't eaten and they really need to get energy out and it's getting mm. late and you're not sure where you're gonna stay so Things we can go downhill fast so we ended up um, going to to dump our gray tank, um, which is our our kind of our kitchen and it's our kitchen kitchen water basically sink water sink water, and that was an experience in itself, and took a while. And we were overrun by bugs everywhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, but so then we. Um, we just found a place to park, basically, um, that someone else had recommended for, as in their overflow parking, basically. It looks like everything around here is full. So now the decision is, do where do we go? And, um, yeah, so we're asking God for wisdom, and we know he's going to provide. Um, we're just trying to figure out exactly what to do next. Boom. There it is. State number two. Oh. Which state is that? New Mexico. So just two hours ago, I said, I didn't know where we would be. Didn't know where we were going to be staying. Um, and, you know, part of the unseen is just not knowing what the future is. Prayed about it. You know, God, I knew God would provide us. And he gave us wisdom to know where to go. And now we are still at Brantley Lake State Park where we wanted to be a beautiful location. We finally have electricity and water. And so we're back in action. In fact, now we're going to say bottoms up because we're going to have smoothies. These are strawberry apple zucchini smoothies. Of course, the Miller Way is adding a little bit of superfoods as well. Maybe some strange ingredients, but they're very yummy. And um, they help us keep our bodies healthy. So, yay, we're back in action. Okay, peanut butter and Here we go. Rock. Oh man, that one's really good. Wow, looks like it's gonna go lift off in like a helicopter. Yep. It's, 
this also spins in a circle so that doesn't happen. Yeah, birds don't really like people very much, usually. The Texas jackrabbit is the most widespread jackrabbit in New Mexico. Horses. Throw rocks in it. How do we get around it? All right. Come on, let's come up the hill. I know exactly where to go. I think we go right through there. So do we go off the trail? Or do we try to find another trail? That looks like a crazy path. What? Then how long do we go? All right. Oh. An excuse to get out your gun. Stay over here. No, we're going to it. Yes, sir, Daddy. Look at me. Um, you have food all over your face. Really? Yeah. Over here. Daddy gonna, Daddy gonna fly over and check it out. Where'd you get that? In the bathroom. Can you see where we I found it? In my room across. No, no, no. So now we're off. Now we're off-roading it. And. Gonna go up this way. Did that end up back where the water was? Yes. Okay. Not a very difficult walk at all. Um, or long. Um, and it's beautiful out here. Other than getting trapped by the swampy water down there, we've almost made it all the way down to the to the lake itself. And the boys are loving. our time. Spent here near Carlsbad and we hope to make our way to the caverns in a few days. Oh really? Yep. Yeah so there's a sidewinder rattlesnake that lives here we don't want to see any of and the kangaroo rat and the kit fox. So it's our last full day here in uh, Brantley Lake State Park, just outside of Carlsbad. And today we get to visit the caverns. So very excited. I went to the caverns as a child, um, but I've never been back since. And um, I still remember parts of it. So I'm really excited for us to go check it out again today. We've got our a little bit of homeschooling stuff still to do in the car. We've got about an hour drive to the caverns itself. So, um, so we're gonna take advantage of that. We've got some 
work things to take care of. You guys, you ready for a, some like a little bit of exploration today? Going. Who's ready for exploration? Me. Me. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm taking All the boys want to do is take videos and pictures. Yeah, yeah, just move it that way. Um, so I think we're all what pretty excited. Doing, Let's see what we've discovered really today. Crazy. Boys like it. Isn't it cool? So we're here in the visitor center at Carlsbad Caverns National Park. The boys have just finished. Um, they have been working on their junior this ranger is what program. I'm gonna look like whenever I get um, they just finished their junior ranger booklet, and we're going to go in and explore the cave. Pretty, I don't know how booked it is and packed it is during the summer hours, um, but it's pretty, it's pretty hopping and busy in here. Um, but I think we're... I think we're ready right. to go in. Yeah. Boys, you ready to go in? Uh, Be prepared. <laughs> I'm such a rule follower. I know. I can't help myself. I gotta know the rules. Uh, make sure nobody's going off trail. If you're traveling with young kids today, please make sure they stay within arm's reach. It gets very dangerous very quickly if people go off trail. The trail is the safest place for you. Uh, rule number two, please do not touch any of the four nations inside the cave. Delta blue, I don't know anything. Damage, the cave formation. This is amazing. You get uh, just a, a glimpse of some of the things that are underneath your feet that you don't even recognize. Let me take this for example, the Chinese theater. That's what this one's called, check this out.
the next part of the trip is where we begin the pro part. And that's where we're gonna climb on that ladder right there and go to the next part of the cave.